morning welcome back to betty's channel she's doing the do as always please give her a thumbs up give us a like give us a subscribe drop a comment down below tell us what you all think it's in this channel betty's in it i'm in it obs anyway what we're doing today paul well let me tell you what we're doing today paul we're doing we're just nipping to cheshire to look at paul's van and then when we come back, we're going to be framing out the roof fence that I fitted uh, the other day. So the ceiling, the Sikaflex should be all nice and dry now. Um, and obviously you saw what I did yesterday with the cladding, ace job. But because I'm on route to uh, Cheshire and it's um, 6.24 of the AM, I thought I'd stop at Limb Services. Get a cheeky Mackey's bacon roll and a brew. I love services. It's like you're going somewhere. <laughs> See what I did then? When you stop at services, you're actually on, on the way somewhere. Do you know what I mean? And it's just ace. It's like all the different people that you see and the smell. The smell of services. Especially first thing in the morning. It's like kind of romantic in a way. Do you know what I mean, fellas? Take your other art at services. Guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? See you in a bit. Oh, that's Ben's. That's Ben's race. No. Oh, I'm here. That's Paul's van. Just checking the uh, inverter. Make sure it's working alright. That's Betty. Bless her. Still going well after having a new engine. Happy days. Look at them wheels. Look at them wheels. They look good, don't they? I like them. It's a nice, hey, nice day here on the farm. Very nice. I bet she's looking good. She's going to be ace for the new paint job. Can't wait for that. I'm in negotiations at the with my brother, I'm trying to get it painted as soon as. Even though I wasn't really asked about the paintwork just yet. I'm kind of giddy because I want it painting. Painting. It's going to be like a, a navy bluey grey. Just up to the roof line. I'm not bothered on top of the roof because you can't see it, so I'm not asked about that. And just on the outside, I'm not doing the door reveals or anything like that. Just a nice quick paint job. Front grill's gonna get painted the same colour. And I might do the bumpers as well, I don't know yet. But she's looking really good. Got the second roof fence in the other day. Got a fan in it, you saw that on yesterday's video. So she's getting there. The next big job after I finish the ceiling is I'm gonna put the um I'm gonna put the diesel heater in. That's not a massive job, but it obviously it involves drilling a hole in the floor. Um, and venting it out, and then the job after, well, actually, before that, I might have to put the step on, which is going. Underneath the side door, which means drilling into the chassis and putting rib knots in, which I'm a bit ass clenchy about. But yeah, inside now, looks alright. I do like that window. It is nice. So, let's see how we get on this morning. I'll come back to you in a bit. Just testing to see if this Fox Holland Varro has got a smart um, alternator. And the way you do it, normally there's like added bits to the earthing uh, strap, like a little box or something that regulates the uh, voltage from the alternator. But another way of testing is to get a multimeter, start your engine, and see what the voltage is reading. I've just done that and it's 14.4. Leave it running for a bit, test the alternator again, and if the alternator drops down to if the voltage drops down to 12 point something, you know it's got a smart alternator. So luckily, I'm all hoping that this hasn't and we can fit a standard uh, split charger. Right, it's been running for about five minutes, so I'm just gonna check the voltage. And that's still reading 14.4. 
So this has not got a smart alternator. So it can fit a standard uh, split charge relay, which is a lot cheaper. Done what we needed to do on our way back home for work on Betty. I do like driving Betty on days like these. Where it's nice and sunny on country roads. Watching the traffic. All these country farmers and their vehicles, isn't it? It's a banging tune on stereo. Hey George Ezra. Back home now, safe and sound. Let's crack on. We're doing the uh, framing of that uh, fan. And that's the first bit of framing done. I need to put another um, layer on to bring it down to that um, cross beam because the cladding will screw to that and the second piece of that because these will be shorter pieces. That's Sikaflex in the nail. Black Sikaflex is the worst colour to get off your hands. White's alright, it comes off, but black just, I think it just gets ingrained. Scruffy bugger. Anyway, yeah, so there'll be small pieces of cladding that go um, from here to the end and then from there to there. Just like I did with that one. See the small pieces at the back? That looks alright. Hopefully the fronts will look just as good. Looking forward to getting it sorted. So now let's do something else. As you can see, if I put another block there, which is what it's going to have anyway, it just comes to the very edge of that rib, which means that the cladding will just miss that and screw to that other piece. So that's why I'm doing the double, the double framework. I've got to wait till that sets, and then I can I'll actually screw these in instead of gluing them in. There's no weight on it, it's just it's just the sort of strength of the cladding, that's all. I think while the glue's drying, I'll take all that panelling off and put the new handle on. But good old Ford, they riveted it on. I've no, I've no rivet, so I'm going to have to not unbolt it. Fingers crossed it's not going to um, catch anything, which it shouldn't because that door shuts onto this so it's not going to catch it at all so that's one positive then yeah it's definitely um it's definitely open up a bit that handle so fingers crossed i can get the new one on let's give it a go becoming a bit of a nightmare this Loosen the rivets, but it's just spinning with drills, so I might have to chisel it out. What a nightmare! Got all the off though. Well, I've got the handle off by chiseling it off. That's what it looks like underneath. And these little groove things slot into them two things. So it is a bit worn. These sh these cables should still be okay, but we'll see. I've got to get these rivets out now, and we'll cut. I can put knots and bolts in. This is the new cable lock and handle. I might just fit the whole new set. Got the rivets out now. Just got to figure out how to get an unbolt 
into that. I need to do it, but just get into the back of it with a socket. Let's have a go. I found myself a long extension that will reach the nuts. So all I do is get some nuts and bolts. I have to get the nut on the end of a pair of long nose pliers. Put it in there because my fat fingers won't fit in there. But I've got a bolt on now, so I'll just tighten it up. Well, this seems a lot better. Push it solidly. The norms up a lot easier. So that's done. Let's put the cladding back on. All back together. Didn't actually take a long wisp, it was drilling out the um, the rivets and the happy days. I just thought I'd show you the workbench that I use, well that I'm used, I've used on Betty 1, I've used on Betty 2 and here it is. It's a wheelie bin! I've cut every piece of wood on that bin by the odd bit of ply. It's all sort of marks on it, don't tell Bolton Council. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's my workbench these just like to show you well that's it for this episode of uh, Betty's Van Build thanks very much for watching not really done that much on Betty today but I've been trying to um, well I can't do anything more with the fan or the ceiling yet until them uh, buttons have set and I'll, I'll do more in tomorrow's episode but I've been trying to clear all the crap from the garage because I just can't get in I can't find anything so I'm having a call a call so check out uh, Betty's Insta, at Betty Air Campervan. There's going to be some stuff for sale, really, really cheap. Caravan related, campervan related stuff. Uh, have a look at it, DM me, whatever, leave a comment if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Tell us what you all think. I'll see you soon. Keep me what you do.